Hey guys, in today's video, I wanna share with you guys a demo of the R1 running on the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Now, over the past several weeks, we've seen these dedicated AI devices being released to the market, and they haven't been doing pretty good. And the question has become, why don't they just make an app for a phone? Is this possible? Actually, it's been discovered that the R1 is an Android application. So today I wanted to share with you guys a demo of the Rabbit R1 running on this iPhone 15 Pro Max. So let's go ahead and dive right in. Okay guys, so here is the demo. Once you launch it, it will ask you for permissions for location services. If you tap on the screen once, it will ask you for permissions to use the microphone. So obviously you can use the voice input and you can tap on the bottom or top of the screen to have that microphone activate. You also have the camera right here, which you can take a picture of something and ask it what it is or to describe what's on the picture. And you can tap on the scroll wheel here, bring up the settings and then scroll through your settings. Now, before we begin with the demo, big shout out to Will over on X. If you wanna learn more about this project, he is the guy to follow. So I'll link his X in the description down below. Make sure you give him a follow. Again, this is a demo UI as you can see right here. So I can double tap on the screen to bring up the keyboard right here or the text input field. And I can ask anything like, for example, who is the president of the United States? Just like so, click done. And we should get an answer here in just a few seconds. This just goes to show that this can easily just be an app on your phone. There it is, 2024 President of the United States. That will be Joe Biden. Now, obviously, if you use the camera, you can also use the camera to take a picture of something and ask it to describe what it is that you took a picture of. Now, a quick side note, if you load this on your phone and you don't see the entire UI, you may wanna change the settings here. So go into settings. You wanna find the Safari extension and settings. Scroll all the way to the bottom and right here you'll find the page zoom option. It will be set to 100. Make sure you set it 50 and then you'll be able to see the entire UI for this specific demo. Now I want to show you a second demo also created by Will here. So if I take a picture of something, it could describe it for me. So let's select the camera here and let's take a picture of this iPhone and let's see if it can identify this is a smartphone or an iPhone. So I got your picture. How can I help? What is this a picture of? This is an image of a smartphone with a distinct design commonly associated with Apple's iPhone. So as you can see right there, lens camera system. this is basically identifying that this is a smartphone from Apple. It did not tell me the specific model, but this just goes to show that any AI can actually become an application. And these are just web demos, as you can see right there, running in Safari. So yeah, the question is, is the R1 an app on your phone or can it be an app on your phone? The answer to that, in my opinion, is yes. Why they don't do it, I think, is because they don't have full control of the entire experience on the phone, but that is for another video. Thank you for watching this quick demo of the R1 on the iPhone. Have a great day, guys, and I'll see you real soon. Peace.